The House does a revote on the tax reform bill, and once again, it passes. Our Washington Bureau reporter, Samantha Joe Roth, is on Capitol Hill now, joining us with the very latest. Hi, Samantha Joe. Well, hey, Roma. The House has officially passed their tax bill for a second time, and Republicans in both chambers are celebrating this legislative win. Now the measure heads to the president's desk. Now, after the House voted on Tuesday, the Senate parliamentarian noticed that there were some problems with provisions in the bill, and they had to change those uh, to comply with those special Senate rules. And Republicans are using this to muscle it through without with a simple majority to avoid a democratic filibuster so those provisions were stripped out of the bill that the senate passed last night and that stripped down version is what the house was voting on wednesday and it delayed final passage but of course did not change that outcome now there are a number of provisions that were taken out of the bill one of them was championed by texas senator ted cruz and it would have allowed parents to use tax-free college savings accounts to pay for uh, K through 12 educational expenses at private schools. Advocates for public schooling really hated this provision and they noted that uh, Republicans were eliminating the deductions for state and local taxes to support the public schools while giving wealthy parents a chance to use tax-free money to pay for private schools. So now that provision is gone. Another provision would have exempted one school in Kentucky from a new tax on college endowments. Now Republicans are celebrating this tax victory. Of course, no Democrats signed on to this. Well, to me, it means it's a promise kept. This is something that we ran on in 2014. We said our corporate tax rate was out of kilter with all other major economies, and we said that we had to provide tax relief for working families. This bill does both. We really need to keep on it educating people about how bad this is for New York because, uh, you know, the last time they did tax reform in the United States of America, that was in uh, 1986. It took two years. They did this in six weeks. The public doesn't even realize the implications of this bill yet. Not even the members of Congress know all the implications of this bill yet. Now, this was a party-line vote in the Senate, but not in the House. Several members in the Republican Party voted no, uh, who are upset about the state and local tax deduction. Now, originally, Republicans moved to get rid of that deduction altogether. They did stick in a deduction for $10,000 uh, for a combination of property and income or sales tax, but obviously that doesn't go enough, far enough for some. Republicans uh, with, uh, you know, in places like New York. Uh, we are hearing that there will be an event at the White House today where Republicans will kind of have a little victory lap for that tax uh, victory. Sending it back to you, Roma. All right, Samantha, Joe, this uh, tax overhaul bill has prompted fierce debate. Uh, what are the main changes in store for taxpayers as a result? Well, tax rates will go down for the time at least, and there's going to be a larger standard deduction now. It's that portion that you automatically deduct out of your tax bill. But many people will not be able to pare down their tax bill by taking, you know, significant deductions for state, local, and property taxes. So people are going to start noticing a difference. Uh, some people say as early as February of this year, or it could be as late as 2019 when they go to file their taxes for that year before in 2018. Roma? All right, we'll have to wait and see on that. Samantha Joe Roth, thanks so much.